Hello America, David here from www.fortruthsake.com where my partner Fred DeRubo and I discuss the latest events and the global elite's efforts to take over America. Um, Dr. Fred's last video was pretty interesting, talking about emotional virtue um, and how political correctness orientates around um, people responding um, based on their emotions as opposed to a logical thought out process and that's a big problem today um, the truth is is that they are trained to do that in school um, a lot of things going on in our education system today um, you think about it for a minute you have little children that are being trained to sit down at a desk for eight to nine hours a day being given instructions by one sole person in the classroom who has authority so basically they're being conditioned to just obey authority and that's really not how little kids learn um, but moving along um, we have different types of educational programs in our in our system um, that builds up to Dr. Fred's um, emotional virtue. We have competency-based education, um, values clarification, outcome-based education. All these things we're, we're familiar with. Um, outcome-based education is, is 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 education that that is geared towards passing tests. You know, you're being trained for the test. You're being taught to the test. Um, values clarification education there's the big one that really revolves around um, what dr. Fred is talking about and that's where children's values are challenged um, in the classroom not only are their values challenged a lot of times their parents values may be challenged as well and and the result and, and the goal is to get the child to evaluate to look at these certain issues based on emotional virtue, based on what the teacher tells them, it, what is virtuous. And what I'm getting at here is um, something that I learned about. Um, you know, we're all familiar with the term critical thinking, okay? This is what they're doing to our children, okay? Critical thinking, most of us, when we hear the term, we think of critical thinking as a method of developing an analytical thought process. We are thinking um, critically of something so we can come to the right, correct conclusion. Um, false. Critical thinking is not analytical thinking. Critical thinking is not designed to get you to think logically about something. We need to step out of this paradigm and challenge the critical thinking um, agenda or, or the uh, critical thinking education process and I'm going to tell you why. Critical thinking is derived from critical theory. Okay, critical theory is the same thing that gave birth to critical race theory. It's the same thing that gave birth to black liberation theology. Um, critical theory was born and perfected at the Frankfurt School of Social Research in Germany. And it was brought over to the United States after World War II. Um, and of course, the Frankfurt School of Social Research is the result of Antonio Gramsci's, which is something Fred mentioned in his video as well, 100-year um, plan to transform America's culture based on Marxism. Okay, it's... The Frankfurt School of Social Research in Frankfurt, Germany was designed to teach people how to infiltrate a system and implement collectivism, communism, socialism, fascism, leftism, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and back to critical theory. Critical theory, critical thinking, again, is not designed to get you to think analytically or logically. Rather, it is designed to teach one to think, to criticize their culture, 
okay, to criticize logic, to criticize values, to criticize um, what we're used to, our, our country, America, the, anything that the left doesn't like. Okay, and, and you can see that a lot. You go into our colleges today and everything's about being a social change agent. You know, whether you're in, in, in the liberal arts department or even in the medicine schools, the schools of medicine, you see posters all over the walls. You know, doctors are social change agents. Yeah, well, the method of social change is critical theory. Okay, and here's what they do. They, and this is based, I've seen this in my own experience here, um, take an issue like socialized health care, okay? <clears throat> they lie about health care in America, and the lies are in the textbooks. They make it seem as if nobody in America has health care, the health care companies are rich, evil, greedy people. Um, people wait forever to get care in America. Only the rich can have health care, whatever. You've heard it all, okay? Well, then they throw you more statistics by comparing it to socialized medicine in Europe. And what they don't tell you is the truth about it. They don't tell you that the European government will only spend $36,000 to save your life if you get sick. They don't explain to you that in America you have a choice to buy health care. You don't have to buy it or you can go shopping and choose whichever health care seems to be the right match for you, okay? They don't tell you that that's your responsibility and you are able to take that responsibility for yourself. So they get you to think critically about it by lying about it and presenting socialism as a better option compared to capitalism. And then they call that critical thinking. And, and they know, because they know they're lying, that, 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 that they can steer the students based on emotional virtue in the direction of socialism because they make socialism appear to be um, the more virtuous system. You know, they, they make socialism appear to be a system that actually cares about people when in reality all socialism does is make a small group of people very, very wealthy while taking away from those that actually produce the wealth in society, you know. Um, <clears throat> and that's what it is. Um, so I want you to think about that. You know, you, you, you talk to young p people that are in college and you can't figure out why they believe the things they believe or why they're so dead set on what they've been taught well, it's, it's a technique. It's called critical theory and critical thinking. They're being taught to favor socialism by being told lies. And because they've been indoctrinated already in the K through 12 education system with outcome-based education, values clarification education, okay, um, competency-based education. Uh, a lot of these college leftist professors, uh, they're pretty certain that they can manipulate the belief system of these people because of this. Um, and we need to take this back, people. We need to start educating people on how they're being manipulated. This this goes all the way back to Marx, to to the very founding of, of his of his system. It goes all the way back to the communist revolutions. It goes all the way back to Antonio Gramsci, John Dewey, all the way up to the present time. Um, anyway. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, have a good one.